Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Lund and welcome to another episode of the Supper Club Social, where, where we review restaurants, movies, and TV shows, talk about home bars, cocktails, and pop culture. With me today is my favorite co-host. He's got more riz in his beard than anyone under the age of 35 has in their entire body. His thunderous voice commands more respect than many hands of state. It's Roy Smith. Nice to be back. Next up, it's our guest co-host. He's fresh off of a three-month vow of celibacy, a 144-hour period of sobriety. He lives rent-free in the darkest corner of your mind. It's Lyle Styles. <laughs> Glad to be back. It's been a while, guys. It has. Yeah. This, I think this is officially ep- season five, episode one. Well, yeah, yes, which so is episode 51 total. Yeah, roughly. Wow. I mean, <laughs> somewhere around there. Yeah. Not How bad. many years has it taken to get to 51? Three or four? COVID. Four? Yeah, so four. Four yeah. on five. Okay. Oh, what's our anniversary is COVID. Yeah. Winter, right? March 17th. When did we actually start it? Well, like, so that would be t- March we of 2020? like the start of a spring. So March 2020. Yeah, that's probably a good guess. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're uh, we're into it. Yep. What's your intro? I'm going to write you an intro. Sure, go for it. Okay. You want to tangle with the beast? Yeah. Huh? All right, it's coming. Don't put the bull unless you want the horns, bud. All right, all right Roy. Yes. Now, we all know about the two ca- the two categories I always ask mm. you for. Okay? I've thrown in a third one here. Okay. Just, and now feel free to answer all of them, or just one, whatever, whatever piques your fancy here. All right. Dust-ups on the bus, mm-hmm. beefs in the break room, or unholy encounters. Ooh, what's Unholy Encounters? It's up to you, man. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what that is, so I'll go with... You can answer all of them. a series of dust-ups oh, on the bus. Oh, wow, okay. With some of the worst high school kids in the regional area. Oh, wow. A little, little town called Rogers? Cheney. Oh. Oh? Yeah, they wow. are some of the biggest douchebags wow. and jackasses in that generation that I've ever dealt with in my life. Who was their last bus driver? We should blame them. I don't know. Probably another bus driver that we know. It a real, takes it real easy yeah, on these kids. Probably. You know? Just a hi, how are you kind of yeah. guy. Aussie Anything turn. flies yep. on my bus. All he's thinking about is rock band all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one we're talking about. Mm-hmm. It was probably him. That'd be my solid guess. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I had to kick two off, or no, three off the second day of school out there. Well, for okay. repeatedly shouting Haktua, spit on that thing. Haktua. Yeah, Haktua. which I'm sure some of you are familiar with. Yeah. yeah. It's a sexual slang. If you're for not. For what? Lubing it up with your spit. Uh, hmm. Yep. Which part? You know. Well, it came from a girl. Yeah. But so that doesn't so, well, it could It could be from a guy. So talk right. about these kids. Where would you put them? Are they rednecks? Are they emo? Are they. No, I think they're all sisters. Are you I trying to figure out if they're black? I, I, What's I wrong with you? No, I think I didn't there's say a bunch race. of kids that think they can't be touched. Mm. They have no repercussions for their actions, and they can just act as crazy as they want. And they're right. Yeah, not on my bus. So I kicked those yeah. three off, and then this week I kicked two girls off mm. for excessively vaping on the bus. Mm. So are you allowing a little vaping these this? days? Well, if you can't see it coming out of their mouth, you can't know who it is. But when they stand up at the back window... Mm-hmm. And blow out enough smoke that you think I'm driving a souped-up diesel truck. <laughs> you know who it's coming from. Yeah. And this okay. is all recorded, correct? Oh yeah, and I've it's just been a hell of a last uh, two and a half weeks mm-hmm. with that school because I went to school before '81 back to school. It's funny that they think they can act up more. They get outside of the school system yeah. because that's where it like the little. You know, mittens comes off a little bit. Yeah, like got kicked yeah. off the bus. <laughs> I can, and I was lucky this week. I got to sit out for the last three days. Why? It, why is that? Did you what run happened? over a child? Or well, there was a guy ODN yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the VA shelter. Allegedly, okay. Um, positive. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so they had all the VA has like their own cops. Mm-hmm. So they had all those people out there. Then regular cops. Yeah. And then like a couple of medical people. And so I held back. And then the fire truck came in. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I could probably still squeeze around. Mm. And then a cop's like, oh, you're going to be able to squeeze around? I'm like, yeah, I'll just hop the curb. No big deal. He's like, all right, sounds good. And then I heard more sirens coming. So I'm like, oh, if I don't go now, yeah. I'm probably not going to be able to get out of here. Right. So I hopped the curb before I was supposed to leave and then pulled back over in case someone came. Mm-hmm. Sat there for four more minutes. No one came up to me. No one said anything to me. I drive all the way back, get relieved. 
for my lunch break. Relieved? Relieved. I get oh. my relief. Sure. Yeah. For my we, lunch. We know what you yeah. mean. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you meant. And I have my whole lunch, and I go back up to get my road car to drive out to China. Like, oh, hey. I'm like, yeah, what's up? They're like, oh, do you remember you like went around a fire truck, got the VA, and into the grass? I'm like, yeah. Like, oh, well, the way to the bus smashed down one of those green boxes that they put for sprinkler oh, systems. Yeah. It smashed the box down, and it cut the, All the main lines. line, and it flooded this little grassy area. <laughs> nice. I'm like, oh, well, like, and like two cops said it was your bus, so it was definitely you. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was probably me then. Yeah. But I was there for four minutes, and none of those cops came up to me and said, oh, you just broke a water line. Right. So, whatever. Maybe it took some time for that water to yeah, maybe. pull up. But... And, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I haven't been in an accident for, sure. like, five years, so it'll just be like, oh, don't do that. So does this go on your record at all? Mm-hmm. Like, it's a mark? Permanent record. Wow. It depends on what they classify it as. Because, mm. I mean, you're going around emergency vehicles to keep the bus on time. Well, no, just to stay out of their way. Right, either. I mean, well, yeah. you know what I mean. But, yeah, I don't really care mm. either way. Cause and then, so what happened because of that? I had to go take a pee test. Mm. And what are they testing? Just, just drugs oh, okay. and alcohol and stuff. Not steroids. I mean, you no. have to be well, I mean, maybe. pretty messed up to go on the curb. Yeah. And so I <laughs> did purpose. that. And then you have to wait for the results to come back before you can work again. Did you fill up the whole cup? No. Half. Oh, oh which that's is, a respectable, Yeah. well, good control. It's still more than what they want. Did you pinch it off with your hand or did you? Just clinch. Just Clench like down. It. Smart. We don't need to go there. That's probably too much. <laughs> yeah. Too many details. But anyways, yeah, you don't want to so overfill cups. It takes a no. couple days, and so the first day you get to go home after you do your pee test, and then the next day you from get that, to go home. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next day you have to come into work like normal mm-hmm. and just sit there until they call you mm. that you're good to go. And if right. you're not, they keep you until they want to let you go for the day. Right. And then you come in again, and I came in today, and I cleared at 9. I'm like, oh... You know, go home, come back for your second half. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I and mean, I didn't go on for my second half. <laughs> you developed quite the black yep, lung. I know. But it, I, quick recovery. And you're better now. Yeah, fast recovery time. Yeah. Food poisoning. Or, yep. Yeah. Good, thank goodness. Light food poisoning. Yep. And so you killed a sprinkler but mm-hmm. got a day and a half. Well, I got to watch TV for two days pretty much because a half day. day off of it. Roughly. Yeah, and then a half day off from work early and then. Another half day off. Yeah. Well, full day. Well, no, a sick day. So I got two and a half days off to watch TV and get paid. Nice. Wow. But a half day to recuperate. Well, yes. Your illness. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was a mental thing, so I kind of had to take the second half off. I wasn't sure. quite mentally ready you to went go back. You trauma. I know. Yeah. I don't know if I can look at a sprinkler again. You'll never well, you drive on a curb again. to at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I got sprinklers. All those hoses you got. Yeah. Those are watering Just patch the hose. Right? Yeah. And my front yard, well, except for now, because I... I'm done for the year for the front yard, but I'm done. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, any other uh, any unholy encounters no, come to mind? I'm not really sure about those. Okay. Let it let it marinate. I'll for think a while. about it. Yeah. Maybe next episode. Um, beefs in the break room, dust ups. I no. think you haven't had to tangle with any noobs lately. No, I think they've all been, been stay away from that born, guy. Yeah. yeah, which is how I like it. All right. Well, Lyle, on to you, I guess. Okay. Um, I've just got three questions for you. Feel free to answer any or all of them. Just a nice little recap on, on Lyle here. Okay. I wanted to ask about your Timu addiction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've what picked up ex- multiple packages from your house from there this summer. <laughs> what excites you most about the season of fall? Okay. That's, that's you cute. cannot answer that it's closer to winter. And have you dealt sense. with any explosives lately? <laughs> Well, no on the question. explosives. Really? When's your last time you had a um, brief encounter? And I don't know July? if, um, what is it called? Tannerite. Uh, Completely legal. Is yeah, that it a, is legal. It's, but implosion. That's an explosive. it's an implosion. Oh, um, I did say it's explosive. technically yeah, an true. implosion. Thanks for clarifying that. You're, you're welcome. Uh, it's been a year since I've done wow. Tannerite. Um, and he's checking to make sure he saws off his Timu, fingers. The Timu addiction has... <laughs> um, this one got burned when I did that. <laughs> this one was a book. Implosion. Still yeah. doesn't this feel. was the explosion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Timu addiction has um, subsided a little oh, bit. Oh, good for um, you. Now, was that just a crushing wave of items that fall, fell upon your house? Oh, wow. I'd keep that in your pocket. 
We might have to cut. Don't that. hit the button. Yeah, it. <laughs> it's completely legal, legal, right? You bought it in America. I kind of. I bought yeah. it, <laughs> and then when I went to buy like four more, they're like, "This no. product is illegal in Washington." Yeah. <laughs> so I, I have a letter for that. Yeah. So, so Timu addiction is like someone that owns a lake cabin in Priest Lake is uh, receiving a lot of switchblades now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what. Oh, there's my work. That's your work around now. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go, Ryan. Yeah. Whoops. I like that. <laughs> I get a credit card from the Idaho. There we go. I there got you it. go. Well, can't you just send it to Idaho? Uh, they go by where it's pr- uh, where it's purchased the from. Billing address. Mm-hmm. The billing address. Makes sense. Okay, that's a workaround. I like that. Um, what was the other one? Um, explosives. Fall. 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 I just. Do you like anything about fall? I love fall because it's so much closer to Wait. enjoying the sport that I like okay. the most. That was another workaround. See, so you open the door. See, See yeah, I'm working door. around that. I'm not going to say. What, what did I say the rules were? So tomorrow I, I, I bought some new boots. You didn't specify. Um, new be ski pickleball boots this year. Indoor pickleball. Um, taking my <laughs> youngest son to the sports creel. We're going to gear up tomorrow. A sports what? Sports creel. What is that? Creole? It's out on is Pines. New Orleans? You know where um, Ron's drive-in is? Yep. It's mm. right across the street. They ripped me off once. It, Ron's did? Yeah. My, deb- oh, my debit card. What, mm. they double like billed you? Charged me, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. happens. On purpose, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure, yeah. But they spit in your food, Some too. 16-year-old girl. You probably didn't clean their windows how they liked it. <laughs> Get the pork cutlet there. Mm. He's never going back. No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Trust me. So uh, that's exciting. Preparing for, th- but what is it? Okay, uh, but what about the fall season? Is this an event or is it a place? It's a, s- a ski swap, right? A ski place. Oh, okay. so they do ski. Well, it sounded like it was some sort of like big old crawfish boil or something. The sports, sports creel. <laughs> and what I like about them is, <laughs> are you saying creel? Creel. C r e o l e. Yep. Sports creel. And, and and I like this group because they don't um they don't cater to borders. They're like. When I first wow. went in there, I was like, do you guys do board stuff? And he looks at me like, no. That's None true. of us here ride boards. How would we sell that with any dignity? And I was like, true skier. Okay. <laughs> Always thrashing on the snowboarders. No. S- snowboarding kept the sport alive. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. But. I was skiing in the trenches back in back. the early 2000s anyway, when skiing So that's my dying. getting so ready for the sport I love. Why is I don't know. Is that the Look actual up a definition story? of creole. I That's have it. A creole can be a. From the can I can I try? Sure. Creole is that spelled different? Um, so that'd be Cajun or is it a ski Louisiana. Term? Well, a creole would be a package or a, a group. Wait, aren't you saying the same thing? You're saying what you just spelled, right? C R E O L E. Creole. C R E O L E. Yeah. Okay. No, no. That's the New Orleans thing. Yeah. It's the person of mixed European and black descent, especially in Caribbean. But a creole, that, there's not another... Adject- that's a noun. There's not another meaning for creole? Um, an adjective relating to Like a combination? A creole. A gathering? A, a cornucopia of things? Mm, they're good in the fall. Yeah, cornucopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 See, um, no well, other definition of pull it all back together. Maybe it's spelled different. Creole, creole. No, I'm not finding like a, a lot sports creole. I think of like a like if you're a fisherman. I got my creole right here. I got you know my lines, my lures. It just instantly makes me think of like Mardi Gras in Louisiana. Bobby, Bobby Boucher. Boucher. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Sports. That's mighty fine. H two O. Creole. 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 C R E E L. Is it at this place? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Well, totally that's the name word. of a place. That's what. I, that's where I go. It's not a sports creel. I said the it's sports creel. That's just sports creel. Sports creel. It's a place called the sports creel. Yeah. It's creel, not creole. Like everyone says creel. Okay. You pronounce the sports creel. Sports creel. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Boy, that was a close Ooh. one. Okay. Well, <laughs> how about you, Ryan? What do you got going yeah. this fall? Me, you know. What are, what are your What are your passions? Okay, three yeah. questions. I'm gonna do. You want two? Qu- you want one question or two for him? I'll take one. Okay. Okay. Hit me, Roy. No, it no, should you be go me. first. You should go be first. Me. I don't want to steal okay. his thunder. What are your passions this fall? 
No, no. Do your no, next question. No. You get. Do your next we're one. Sandwich it. No, I'm not sandwiching with you. Okay. I'm going to be the bottom bread. <laughs> <laughs> so much innuendo with you two. I need the time to pat. You got a pad for me. Here. Okay. Well, I'll <laughs> answer the first one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Then you can. Something about fall. You got one minute to answer each question. I like fall a lot. Not well, because it's the end of summer or because winter is coming up, but I like it for the season that it is. It's very cool, mostly. It's back to that time where you just really appreciate the sunny days, and they just stand out so much more, especially when as we get, get into it a little bit. And I also look forward to football Sundays, Green Bluff, mm-hmm. flannel. We should do that again. Pants. The Green Bluff thing. Grunge rock. Year. Yeah. All right, I got my question now. What I had one of those earlier, yeah. So quick I am though. Yeah, a fly just landed on my arm. And I killed it. What are your predictions for the Pick'em League and the Supper Club Social Draft? Way let's to let's think on think, that. Who do you think? Oh, did I steal your thunder? Well, we've got let's, that coming up, Roya. We've okay, got that coming okay. up in happy well, hour. Way to dodge the question. <laughs> you should run for politics. <laughs> Thanks for asking that though. Yeah. Hey, vote for me. We also have that coming up in another Yeah, <laughs> I know. Jesus. All right. Well, I think we're going to move it on to the next segment. Okay. Way to dodge the questions. And let's take a little bit of a break here because we got happy hour coming on All up right. next. Okay. Actually, I meant to hit that button a second ago. And we chat during the music. Okay. And then... You really got out of those questions. Yeah, you did. I answered fall thoroughly. Yeah. And then he asked tr- me what I can't answer. Do you truly enjoy fall? Green Bluff? I do. When you we do. Because there's beer there. Yeah, a lot. I drink in excess there. Okay. I don't really like fall. I don't really like... I do like fall. It's the best season. But there's things I don't like about it. Cheers. Cheers. It's, it's happy, happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we were on something weird when we tried that. Yeah. You yeah. know? What? We went on three on that one, you know? I know. You always go on four. <laughs> All right, welcome to another segment of Happy Hour, people. We like to start every episode and every uh, segment of Happy Hour off with a quote. Mm-hmm. A man's got to believe in something. I believe I'll have another drink. Nice. I like that. W.C. Fields. Mm. Isn't he an old-time actor, comedian? Yeah. I thought he was a scholar. Um, you know, I thought he was an author also, Roy, but mm-hmm. I think he's more in the Hollywood scene. Oh, interesting. That's all I have to say about that, because I don't really know. Me neither. Let's just... <laughs> oh. Now... We might all be right, we might all be wrong. What we have here is a multi-stage happy hour, guys. We've got a special re- release from Dryfly. We're going to try this straight. Mm-hmm. And then, for reasons that will become clear in a minute, we're going to try it again with a little bit of water in it. And then we're going to make an old-fashioned, smoked, a smoked old-fashioned out of it. Very nice. Now, why are we putting water in it? Because this is straight, practical whiskey. Aged eight years. This is barrel 568. Alcohol percent at 68.1. Whoa. Hee doggy. It's going to be a stiff one. 136.2 proof. Whew. Now, the bottle doesn't say too much here. Uh, Lyle, do you want to give this a read? This is kind of their... Put your papers on. It's pretty small. This prop. is their special release. Uh, getting relief. close to the gla- glasses. Roy, are you noting its color in the bottle it's here? It's very dark. Very dark. Almost like a maple <clears> syrup. <throat> yeah. Every once in a while, you hook a truly one-of-a-kind fish. The one you talk about for years. That. This is... That fish are single barrel whiskeys featured extended aging unique finishing and proofs not found in our usual lineup. <laughs> These specialty releases are handpicked to offer you a genuine and unique whiskey experience. Grab a glass, find some friends, and explore <laughs> a truly one of a kind offering. Cheers. Wow. And the river runs through. <sighs> note to self. <laughs> Made this note before. Now, <laughs> let's give it a try. Give it a shot straight. What, how about a note? Let's let's, let's smell get it. The nose, See, yeah, yeah. A little nose hit. Mm. Doesn't smell boozy. I'm getting caramel. 
Yeah, I'm not getting a whole bunch. I'm sure it's going to be... It smells like a regular whiskey to me. Now, I will say, this bottle says mm. straight tritickle whiskey. Now, on their website, it says... Oh, Roy tried it. Oh, I thought we were trying it. Roy just went oh, for it. Right. <laughs> just a, it's not a shooter. Mm-mm. It's got flavor, but it, you can definitely feel the burn. Woo! It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Hey! Yo! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah! My second breath, I just breathed in flames. <laughs> it's definitely going to take a while to get through this bottle. Whew. That is some strong whiskey. Does that come with wow. Tums? Yeah. I still, it's like when you eat a hot piece of food and you don't feel it initially, but then you feel it go yeah, all the way I, down into your yeah. stomach. It's finally starting to get all the way down. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's a stiff drink. We still gonna and we only have... <laughs> That was a that seven point seven five point seven five an ounce. So let's compare this to okay. a ninety nine apples. Still a hundred times better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> but there is maybe not. This is definitely not one you're going to be throwing back glasses of. No, this isn't a sip. And for the oh. price, you probably don't want to drink it like that anyway. I was thinking we'd reveal that at the end. Yeah. So we could really spend this time to see if it was worth it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's really not, was it worth it? What, yeah. w- is it worth what it, we paid? What am I trying to say here? It's, you know, it's aged eight years. Mm-hmm. That's worth something. What were you guys doing in 2016? No idea. Um, I'd lived here a year. I think we actually just bought this house. Or did I stay for two years? Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to finish this. You're going to shoot Eight it? years ago. Yeah. We just moved into our house. We all had big Nine life changes ago. around then. Yeah. No, I was still just hitting life. That's <laughs> today. I think it was a lot sober back then, though. The second drink's better. Yeah. It's really hot. I can't really get a lot of the flavors. We're going to have to add like, a little water. I get like a caramely flavor. That's really all I get. And then just the alcohol burn. Hmm. So you get that initial taste for me, and then it's just burned. But like, hmm. it like coats your mouth. Yeah, it's Almost not like a, a syrup. Like, like the thickness, the color of it, but like a cough syrup kind of. Sure. And breathing out, you get the, yeah. some flavor. That's what got me on my first one. When I, I took exhaled your second. and inhaled, yeah. and I just like... Like, <laughs> I mean, I think, I mean, compared to like a, other like super it's cheap high alcohol high proof, yeah. and high proof stuff, like I would buy this over those any day. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Cause it burns, but it's not like a, oh Jesus. Like it's not, it's almost 70% alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it's pretty good considering that I do like it. I can't pick out the flavors, though. And I've never actually been very particularly but good I mean, at that about in the first how, place. Think about how many cheap whiskeys we've had. Yeah. That they're not this high right. proof. And, it and they burn all just burns. as bad. Yeah, like, worse. Like 99 apples, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> One of Lyle's really, favorite Really good whiskey, starter 99 shots. apples. It's actually a vodka. So, should we... Um, I don't even know if it's a vodka. <laughs> it might be flavored ever clear. <laughs> yeah. Should we do this? So, I'm thinking same amount... With some, mm. with like, what are you thinking? Like half and half. Let's try. Let's try it. Not half and half, but a quarter, and then add another. Build up to half and half if we need to on the second drink. All right, you want to grab water out of here? Yeah. Ooh. And that's gonna be cold, so that's gonna affect our action yeah. here. Oh, they're all the way at the bottom too. You have to dismount. <coughs> oh, Woo! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? My back didn't hurt before. Yeah. It hurts now. It's on camera. It's your twisting with that one in the screw. With yeah. the screw, Roy. You don't well, mess with the screw. Roy, we're probably going to have to take a pause here because we're going to have to fix that chair. I'll just grab another one. Whew. That was a ride. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote it down. <laughs> you feel like you're alive? <laughs> he feels more alive now than he has in a long time. Actually, about 10 years ago, I felt really alive. You owe me a sheet metal screw. And you're going to want to <laughs> meter this out. Sure. Yeah, I think it's a really good plan. We're doing it live, people. Doing We're it live. doing it live. This is a live show. Oh, oh. got all these high-quality stools just lying around. Oh, is that high-quality H2O? high-quality H2O. Oh, man. 
<laughs> you okay? You're sweating. Do you? Did that? That's your backup. Oh yeah. Did you really? Pl- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna clip that. <laughs> That's totally. That would be a good real shit. <laughs> It just goes through the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm back, people. I'm back. Just got to do a little adjustment here. Here's some more jet fuel oh, for you, Roy. Jesus Christ. Oh, that, that'll make the pain go away. That's another L and I climb. That's two tonight, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd scrape, yeah, and now scrape, that. Scrape from the janky metal dartboard. The first one wasn't recorded, but I can wit- I'm yeah, a witness. Yeah, I got witness. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, oh, man. let's try this. Do we, do we swirl it? Yeah, swirl yeah, a little bit. Look at the legs. Oh, those are some <laughs> thick legs there. Is it a little bit better? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, there's, it brings out a lot more of the flavors here. What about this with an ice cube in it and let that ice cube melt? Oh, on the rocks. And then you could go well, through like, with an old the fashioned. progression. Okay. Oh, yeah. That you can really get, tones it down. Yeah. This is about... Half water, I'd say, maybe. Maybe a little less than half. See, I think that's better. Yeah. It does bring out the flavors. Are you guys getting any particular notes? I, I can just, just caramel for me. Caramel. Hmm. Or maybe not even caramel, but like a, a peanut brittle. Hmm. Like, you know, minus the peanuts part of it, whatever the orange part of it is, you know what I'm saying? The caramel? Is that caramel? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, so yeah, I guess caramel. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it Sorry, I'm still a little bit traumatized. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to come down. Yeah. Trying to come down. I thought you were gone. Oh, I think I, I was like, <laughs> I might not wake up in the morning. I can't wait to look back and see my face. I was like, <laughs> like I, I had to have just. I thought you dropped over eight feet. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had dropped five stories. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, gone. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I, I was zero gravity for a little yeah. bit there. Oh, man. Well, I've got ibuprofen in the house. I'm going probably need some. And I can get in there, too. Yeah. Loosen things up. You know, the, the right, thing about back this on track. whiskey here is there aren't any... You know, I like the ones that say it's like should be oak yeah. and uh, some rosemary. And Even online, it didn't say much about it, except for that you should cut it with water. Yeah, I clipped the water, the stuff it says on there, and I didn't really... There's nothing there. Don't a lot of times they call this cask strength? Uh, yeah, but this wasn't in a cask. It was in a barrel. It's a different type of... A cask is like a smaller compact barrel. Yeah, I don't know what a cask is. I think they're just a smaller... We've like, looked up all these barrel. definitions so many yeah. damn times. Yeah, it's definitely better watered down. Which I don't feel bad about because they are the ones that suggest it. When yeah. Normally I think it's frowned upon. Well, I, I would definitely think it's frowned upon. I think we should do it more often, though, just to... Try it straight. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it for what it is. This one's so hot, it's obviously going to get watered down just to taste it. Yeah. I wonder if we should give it to my dad one time and tell him it's the pickle whiskey. Marty! <laughs> well, now he's going to know because he watches the episodes. Oh, he won't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, Marty. I wish you were here. You would oh. enjoy this. Oh, yeah, this could oh be Marty. Yeah. Marty, Marty, episode. Marty. Oh, here to love the fall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would still be looking over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said, but oh. I just fell out of his chair. <laughs> I forget, too. I don't remember. I was mo- oh, I was trying to get the water. You, you know were, what you were You were doing? excited. You were was, twisting. Yeah, I was slowly shearing the little screw. Because it's probably just the tip of the screw in there. <laughs> You're always just <laughs> always, <laughs> always all, the I mean, tip. can you get your mind out of that? I always How much do. time do we have left? Yeah. Six minutes. Okay. So let's go back to the taste. Are you getting and I'm not good at the taste, like you said, but I definitely kind of caramely brown sugar, maybe. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Let me. Oh, okay. brown sugar. Gonna... Or maple. I don't get a lot on the nose at all. Yeah, I think it's because no. it's just so high proof. Yeah. Well, now with the water in it, it really like kind of seals in the smell. I think. This is a thing in the Scotch world, though, is to put oh, a couple drops of water. I think it tastes good. Yeah diluted a little bit it's good whiskey but they have this as a normal whiskey that they sell there that's just they do it's a three-year yeah um so we've also tried one i think on this show that was close to this this high proof mm. um we made old fashions out of it it might not have been on the show but um yeah 
Well, we've had a lot. <laughs> we've drank a lot over here. <laughs> we have. Let's um, grab those other two special. Well, Roy, ha- you've had a big well, Here, I'll get it. You I, don't, I, need don't. To, I need to hop you back on keep, the horse. Keep okay? moving. Okay. okay. Do, I just want to. I got to conquer my fears now, Ryan. Right. I got to get on and off the stool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just want to remind our audience of our other two specialty release purchases. Lyle's looking at these like it's the first time he's ever well, seen them. He's probably, he doesn't remember it. Okay. Now, oh, this was oh. fun. This was that five-year rye whiskey, oh, yeah, their first rye. That was their first rye, I and I think they should do it more rye. often. Yeah. And this one was their first one that I know of, the specialty barrel single malt whiskey aged 10 years. Mm-hmm. Barrel number two, 50% alcohol. Boy, barrel we thought, number two. Yeah, we thought that was a strong one. We thought one. that was hot. Hot. So this is their highest proof they've ever made, according to the website. Yeah. I think I believe it. Yeah. Why would you make it any higher? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, but if you have the time and... Well, think about the... the, the, How much money you have to put into keeping it that long. Yeah. That that money just sits out there for eight years. I mean... Let's see. It shows you where they're getting that they can do that. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Well, yeah. Now they just did a big merger... With whom? A uh, wine company, right? Gosh, I don't remember. So the they got bought out? No, no, it was a merger. Wasn't a buyout? No, it was. I think it's a merger. It's a partnership, but the wine place owns the majority. The majority stake. So they got bought out. Well, yeah. I mean, that's they, what it is. They. It well, just seems I don't like know. a negative way to put it. Yeah, they might. They're have, partnering to get more distribution of their product. Sure. So yeah, I guess they got bought out. They got bought out. But if they're it's just a weird way of saying, but they're it. still in the mm-hmm. game. Like, yeah. we do this, you distribute it for us. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But if they own the majority stockholders, they they can come and say they can say stuff. Nah. Yeah, who knows what are the finer details are on the. the they just re- but they but just retired. It's in the news, so it's not like we're breaking anything. Yeah, no, no. they retired. Yeah, that's possible. No, though. I mean, though there there think. was one that retired. He's the chief fishing officer now, mm. Don Poffenroth. And but uh, Patrick Donovan, guy I went to high school ish with, he's the new big cheese. Mm. Oh, nice! And he's been there for a while. So yes, great product. Yeah, good deal. Well, yeah, it's a really cool location downtown. If you have the chance to go to there, it is. That's where you have to get this at the and they shop. Oh, have you noticed how clean their windows are? I was just about to say, the guy that cleans the windows there must be <laughs> top-notch. Yeah, uh, you know. Because it's like you're in the distillery when you're in the restaurant. It's, you can't yeah, tell the glasses there. Can't tell. It's actually become quite a problem. They keep having people run right through it. <laughs> well, you I know, can imagine. It's even Bonk. with the small panes. I've com- well, I know. You would think they'd stop. It looks like a, <laughs> All the grids, like yeah. a graded gate. Right, yeah. Big now old piece of Parmesan. There's glass there. Yeah. Well, should we put a pin in this and move it on to the next segment um yeah, yeah. i yeah. think we should Good time. let me just hit this and next up we've got some prompts that we're gonna just uh, run through answer those up and i think we're gonna mix up an old-fashioned thing. yeah old-fashioned right. should be a good time See you on stay the tuned side. hi everybody welcome back to the show here um continuation of happy hour lyle Everything okay? Is the whiskey yeah. hitting you hard? <laughs> no, just, just sinking. It's really taking him down. <laughs> Would you quit breathing into the mic with your nostril? <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> that's all I got. All right, you sort yourself out. I'm just going to keep going. We're having a lot here. of technical difficulties here with the stools tonight. So, today, our third part of the Dry Fly special release, we made special smoked old fashions with. Maple in mind, please. Thank you. Maple chips. Now this smoked old fashioned was from my dad. Marty. Linda's cocktail bar. Very fancy. Oh, very nice. First time we've used them. Last time I smoked a cocktail was at Priest Lake with tamarack bark. <laughs> this yeah. turned out great. Sounds delightful. Is it just me or is this it's going for a long been time? Going forever. Let's start down. Um, all right. Well, should we do our first? Yeah, let's give so it a shot. So, what's in here is two ounces of our high proof bourbon, about three dashes of Angostura, a about a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Yeah, I forgot to add a little water. 
We'll be all right. I meant to do that. A cherry, an orange, and we should be good to taste right, here. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I definitely got some bite to it, but oh yeah, <laughs> it's tasty, huh? It's, yeah. Wow, it's gonna be a that slow drinker. Good. Once that ice melts, it's gonna be great. But it is nice with all the other flavors and the old yeah. fashioned. You can actually taste something besides the possible maple or caramel. Ooh, that is really good. Tasty, yeah. tasty. Powerful. Yeah, this would be a one, and you're gonna get xed out for the day at the bar if you got this at a bar, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> You, yeah. yeah. If you got this at a bar, you'd be like, did you put gasoline in yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> but I think for well, the proof of it, it's still pretty. Sure. I mean, for being as high as it is, it's well, here, smoother This than would most. be a $40 drink at a bar. Let's oh, not yeah. be too proud. You know what? A lot of original cocktail recipes call for soda water on the mm. top of it. So I'm just going to do a little of this. Just a little dab. A dab will do you. Yeah. You want a little floater? I'll t I'm not it's not a traditional. I'm not too proud. It's not a traditional silver club folder. So what is yeah. uh, so a whiskey float is a ditch. That's a ditch yeah. is whiskey and water. If I interesting. Right. I All spend right. some time with some ditches. So for happy hour here, um, second part of happy hour, I've just got a bunch of prompts for you guys, along with two dad vice questions okay. sent in from one of our favorite users. Mm. Um, so let's a little bite to it. Start with a prompt. Loading. Yep. Loading. Enhance. Yeah. Which Enhance. movie character would you most want in your group during the apocalypse? Hmm. Roy, anything? I'm going to go John McClane. Hmm. Die Hard. Yeah, City Guy. Yep. Street smart. Cop, good. though. I know, but he's a damn good one. Damn good cop. Hmm. You know anyone else is going to crawl through an AC vent to kill a bunch of terrorists? That's a pretty good one. I don't know if I'd want to hang out with the cop, though. Well, yeah, he'd think he's in charge. But he's on the he's on the edge, man. He's on the <laughs> outskirts. <laughs> That's Dyer 1. Dyer 2, you know. Well, you can't win them all. But live free or die hard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a good one. Come on. Yeah. That's like the only, like... Remake or extension yeah. way the, later that actually worked out. The airport one was bad. I think that was number two. Number two was bad. Three was good. Die harder. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Uh, what would be your character, Lyle? Anybody? Well, it's obvious. Mad Max. Hmm. hmm. Another not so much of a fun hang. No, but he'd keep <laughs> you alive. <laughs> well, True. well he'll keep wouldn't he keep alive? you alive? I mean, he's, he's more of a. Alive. I think he's more of a. No, look at his story. Solo I mean, type of yeah, guy. but look, he finds redemption. Finds Sounds someone to care good. about. Yeah. You talk about post apocalypse, gonna say Rambo. looking for the juice. What about you, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna say, John okay. Rambo? Um, Daryl. I don't remember his movie name, but Woody Harrelson in a uh, Zombie Land. <laughs> a little bit of both. Yeah, you get a nice yeah. comedy, nice hang. Yeah, that, that's that, a good yeah, one. That <laughs> That would be a nice But hand. shame on you for not knowing his, act, his character what, what, name. Well, they went by his cities, didn't they? Oh, Desi was he Tallahassee? Did. Maybe. No, that was one of the girls, wasn't it? No, I think that, you might Was he Tallahassee? Been, you might be right there. Yeah. yeah. Might be a good one. If you're worth a Google. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, I Ma the Mad one. Max would keep you alive. How is everyone's he's good mechanic. Yeah. NFL football team looking? Well, <laughs> I'm going to have the... Scoop of the year, the way the season's going so far. And NFL, your favorite NFL football team, Roy? Well, they're doing pretty good for a backup running back going with them. True. True that. Niners. Put it to the Jets last, what was that, Sunday he or was, Monday night? Yeah, Monday night football. Monday night, yeah, first Monday night of the year. I feel bad for Aaron Rodgers, though. He was yeah. not looking like he was having a good time. It's funny you, when... You, the, you felt bad for him? Oh, wait, yeah. that's his team, Roy? He's that's not. It? Aaron Rodgers isn't oh, his never team mind. anymore. <laughs> He went, you got defensive there. Do you, you still well, own him? He's, no. He's a traitor. Oh, wow. well, I'm glad to be rid of him. Jeez. He shouldn't have come back, I don't think. No. I mean, he looks like an old, grumpy guy. He now. can yeah. still throw a pretty ball. He can. Well, I know, but like, he was just looking like... He looked jets. like Dan Marino. Like, but he looked like 
when they zoom in on his face after plays, he's like, why did I, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Money. Like, why did I come back? Like a hundred yeah. million dollars is why he came I know, back. but he had Achilles surgery and now there's talk of his other Achilles being bad now. Oh, is no, there? Really? He like kind of flared it up and uh, all from camped and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Better than his calf being all messed up. <laughs> That's also an Achilles though with McCaffrey. Oh. Yeah, it is calf Achilles with mm-hmm. MCM mm-hmm. they're calling him. Yep. A tough one. Mm-hmm. Well, That's I'm glad right. you dropped Mystic Roy. Yeah. How about you, Lyle? How Packers, the Packers we're free of uh, Rodgers. And you're free of you Jordan got... Love also. Oh, really? He's gone now, too? <laughs> he got hurt for, for like two weeks. <laughs> Three. We're good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll take Jordan Love any day over Gino. I mean, yeah. any day. Oh, G- why are, what are we doing? Gino is... Shots fired here. If I had to pick Are we talking about old G- Jets quarterbacks? Sure. I'd take Favre <laughs> over Gino. Jets quarterback. <laughs> Any day. He had a couple he had a good year there. Mm. That's post dick pick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pre or post. No, that, that was pre. dick pick. Yeah. Post yeah, that was, that's when the dick yeah. pick happened. Still way better than Gino. The Any day of the month. Jets quarterback I'd take over Gino was if it Sanchez? No test of Ernie, yeah. Yeah. But he was only good when he got to where? The Jets. I don't think it's just no, he started in kidding. Tampa Bay, didn't he? I don't know. Uh, I'm kidding. How is your? So you're happy with your team? Yeah. Great. How about um, how about, how about the, sea, the oh, fake wa- bird, the Seahawk? Walker's out. Ugh. Is he? Yeah, Walker's out. Who's oh. Walker? Walker, the, the running back. He's not out. The best running back your team has. I've got like three running backs that are just fine. No. Well, I'm what's not. your thoughts on Gino? I mean, I like Gino. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Yeah. I bet you so he's a there. Trent Dilfer, is what you're saying. Matt Hasselbeck. He went to the Super Bowl. He didn't win one. Mm. He went to a Super Bowl. <laughs> more than Jordan Love did. Has. More, more than well, well, Jordan said anything. That's all. Huh? Um, well, is he only in his second year? Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, technically, his third or fourth, because he sat behind Sean mm. Rogers. But well, Gino's his been second in the year, year for starting. about 15 years, okay? Mm. Well, he had a 10-year sabbatical. And, and you yeah. get so much better as you age. <laughs> yeah, yeah especially in NFL. <laughs> yes. A car crash every weekend. Anyway, yeah. I am excited for the team. They got a new coach. I'm looking forward. Their defense looked the better defense than I've great. seen in a long time. The offense was really rocky in the beginning. The second half of the score ended really close, but in the second part of the game, you never thought they were going to lose. I they, didn't watch they it. They had it in hand. And they played an awful team. Yeah. They have, like, a really – they've got Denver that they beat, and then the Patriots has got another rookie quarterback. That'll now. be a good one because they've got another good defense. Well, the Jets are supposed to have one of the best defenses in the NFL this and year, and they just play got the destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't say destroyed. They lost by, like, 12 points or something. Who'd they play? The Niners. Oh, that's right. All right, well, next prompt, let's just go into the fantasy football while mm-hmm. we're at it here. First week, l- or, or l- we, uh, talk a little bit about fantasy for me here while I pull up this. The fantasy football. So I'm not doing your pick em league league because I wasn't invited. Um, right. This is the Supper Club Social. And I'm not insulted by that because I was really weak effort last year. Yeah. Right. Well, anybody really can weak. join. I mean... So, well, but I was someone that, someone that Didn't lost their try. phone privileges almost beat you, and you couldn't <laughs> even pick for like four yeah. weeks. <laughs> but I like <laughs> I like the fantasy thing where you can do trades, and um, I like that. Yeah, I had a little, yeah. little, I, little and mix I'm, up in that this week, but it's going to work out, I think. So a quick update on the fantasy league. Now Don Santos got blasted out of the water by me, <laughs> absolutely destroyed, <laughs> and I, I was trying to help him all day. And I got your back, Don. Shouldn't talk um, bad about him. Uncle He's a Rico saint. is Mr. Jones. He destroyed Eric Jensen, whose team name is the Oregon Oregons. <laughs> I love it. Why does he have that I, team I name? I don't know, there? but I love it. it sounds familiar. I like where he's going with it. Now, Lyle squeaked out, just squeaked out a win against Brendan Aloysius Sinclair. Another supper club. Um, Top fan. Regular, yeah. Roy? I No, I owned him. It was an ass kicking. Oh. I almost had a great comeback. You I did. almost had the comeback of the year. Roy lost, lost by 15. Oh, by 15? Went into Monday night. That's not close. No, I was supposed to lose by like 50. Yeah, McCaffrey got rolled out, and Roy still had Brock Purdy to go. Purdy. So if Brock Purdy threw like four touchdowns and 350 yards, Roy would yeah. won. And he was, just came up short. 
Now, the biggest beatdown of the week was my wife with Gin Ricky Waters. Excellent <laughs> name, by the way. That is a good one. Honestly. Against old Ed Joe, Wayne Johnson. Beatdown of the week, 103.08 to 56.46. How many kickers does Wayne have on his roster? <laughs> Currently? <laughs> that might be yeah, the secret. <laughs> that could be the secret to success. A lot of kickers, I heard. My yeah, kicker got me a, a lot of points this year. Well, let me just game. tell you, one of the kickers he has on his bench scored 21 points. Was that Moody? Aubrey, oh. Dallas guy. Wow. Because Jake moved. Moody actually did he did a lot of off-season work. Oh, yeah. He's really improved a lot Looking since good. last year. So are you guys liking the fantasy football? Do you think yeah. they're doing a good job facilitating? But Wayne put the smack down on Amy? No, Amy put the oh, smack okay. down on Wayne. I'm about to say. By hmm. 50 points. Okay. We need to put like five bucks on it next year. Well, I'm or thinking, next year, 20 or... Because um, money's always more well, fun to play for. The winner is going to get a special prize from the Supper oh. Club. But it's more fun if you have skin in the game. Sure. Yeah. Next Let's year. Do that. Just, Next yeah, year. Just an invite. I'll now, mean. also, Lyle, I don't know if you know this part, but have I told you about the relegation? Like soccer? So we're starting another league next year. The bottom half of this current league is going to go to the next league, and we're bringing on 10 new people to fill in the upper league and the bottom league. Oh, I like it. Like the premier. Next, and mm-hmm. Yeah, and I next, like that. Next year. The top five go up, and the bottom five move down. I like that. Or four, you know, hard to say. Yeah. Um, well, we only have ten right now. But right? I think you, yeah, yeah. I think you need a minimum of ten. Otherwise, yeah, you do. You get it gets too weird. You have too many. Well, then everybody has all stars if you get less than ten. Sure. Yeah. I think the rules are set up pretty even this year. It should be pretty good. Um, See, I'm not used to the. I'm used to leagues where yardage counts as points. Yeah, a little more, and it, I'm fine sure. with it. It's just different. Well, it's all ESPN on the well, way we're doing it, and we're not doing a PPR. That's a big difference in leagues, point per reception. So that that's huge on um, the receivers and running. It makes yep. certain running backs worth a lot. McCaffrey yeah. and not and I've sure. never done Saquon. A none. He's got the Madden curse this year. Yeah, that's what they say. He's on the cover, and he's been out. Mm-hmm. Hasn't played a game. Not going to play tomorrow. Nope. They're talking about on the radio putting him on IR. Yeah. Which mm. they should. I know. I'm glad I picked up the backup. Because he had a hell of a game last week. You guys ready for a little bit of a pivot? Yeah. Yeah, you got four minutes. Did either of you watch the debate? I tried. Yeah. For about 30 minutes. Oh, well, that's a good try. And it was it's just. about how long I watched. It was brutal, man. Mm-hmm. Like. Worse, just, worse than the Biden one? Mm-mm. It was, no. It was almost. Maybe a smidge better, but they were just pretty much just slandering each other and just talking about the same topic every time they answered. By the time you got to 30 minutes in, it was Yeah, it was like just, new. oh, borders open, borders open, borders open. Oh, well, you're a criminal, you're a criminal, Project 2025 yeah. or whatever it is. And then I was like, this is fucking pointless. You're not going to sway anybody no. to switch to your side yeah. by watching this fucking... Horrific Sad. debate, yeah. Isn't it fascinating to there watch... There should be two different people up there. Two people debate being the president, and they're the one that can push a nuclear launch yeah. button. Never gets brought up. No. And they could literally start a nuclear war. I know. I just. But, I don't think either of them are good options. Yeah. I awful. don't know why they pick Trump again when he divides the party itself. And then... Kamala is just like she didn't even do anything in the last three years. They must have just really thought Biden was ready to go. I don't, but he didn't I seem like a viable candidate for a long time. No, I think they need to. They should have picked two different people, and they should have term limits on the Senate and the House because they shouldn't be able to be there for their whole life. Yeah, there's never fresh ideas. Four terms. You got the same sure. people that have been there for twenty, thirty years. Yeah, or fifty. Yeah, fifty years. That's like they yeah. need to put term limits on that, and they should have. Both parties should have picked a different candidate. Yeah. That's my opinion. I won't vote. I didn't watch the second one. I will not vote for either of those two people. Yeah. I mean, I'll vote for I'm my out. party, but not because I think he's the best option. Sure. Yeah, I think it's just weird to watch those. I watch them mainly as a reality show. Well, yeah, that's like, all it is way nowadays. I follow politics. But that's sad. It's just, they're literally the leader of I the... always think it's crazy because the person that they always try to all team up on on both parties mm-hmm. is like the person they should have fucking took like because they're the most when, center like you know when they oh. have like all of them before they pick yeah. the running person oh sure a moderate the team yeah. that they kick out first yeah, yeah. the, the one person, that's the yeah. most center is one they should be picking 
But that's the one they all team up on and kick out first. They're playing to their bases, though. Yeah, true. I know, but if you want to switch people to come over to your side, you got to pick the person in the center. Yeah. All so right. you can try to bring those people over. But Quick move on to Dad Vice here. Um, from user... Let's just oh, do one. Just one, okay. From user... Diluted Juice 69. <laughs> Who is that? That's his screen name. Oh, it's a code name. Um, uh, let's see. What is the proper timing to turn your furnace back on? What? Oh, oh to, like, uh, hurt, put heat on your house? Yeah. Uh, when your house drops below 60 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. No, you put blankets on. I don't know. I hate that time of year where you're putting on the AC and the heat. And AC and the heat. I just don't turn my AC on at night. Hmm. It cools off like it is right now. I don't know. I think you have windows be, open? No, but the house... I leave the doors open this time of year. Yeah. So yeah, the house cools flow. down naturally. Sure. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I would say if when your house is... Getting below 66 degrees on the inside. Ooh, I'd go so to 60. So you go interior temperature. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because if the house is still warm inside, why are you trying to heat it? That makes sense. Well, I'd just rather not think of it. Like, when it gets below 60 outside, like, as a high, then I'd probably like Well, yeah, then your house would probably be below. But we have No, but think about, like, how... Fire, or the gas fireplace. Gas fire. We're but think about when you're cooking. I mean, and the body's in there. You're creating yeah. heat. But do you love that? That they're trying to abolish natural gas in the state of Washington? Mm-hmm. But now Vista jacked up the electric prices and dropped the natural gas prices. Oh, good for them. Yeah. It's all a game. Yeah. And we pay for it. It's a racket. Yeah. Um, I will say this about the furnaces. I last as long as I flip and can. Yeah. Until everyone complains for about a week, then we'll turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> when they're putting on the winter jacket yeah. inside instead of just the hoodie. When I see the kids roll out of their bed and they're like got sweat and a sweatshirt on and a yeah. blanket, I'm like, all right, maybe we'll turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> we'll get it up to 65 in the morning. Yeah. Well, that was a fun segment. Mm-hmm. I don't know what we talked about thanks to this uh, yeah. stuff, but uh, let's move it on to the next one and do a quick wrap. <laughs> Wrap, what? wrap, wrap up. up, wrap, wrap up it up when we come back. Alrighty, welcome back to the show, everybody. Now, part of the wrap up I'd like to start is um, a shout out period of each episode. Yeah, let's do it. And on a positive note, does anybody have a shout out that you can think of? I know I put you on the spot here. It could be anyone. I'd go or uh, any place. Non family member, top fan, Don Santos. Shouting him out? Yeah. For losing to me in fantasy no, and not losing to, to shit? being our non-family member. Oh, okay. Top fan. Good choice, good choice, yeah. good choice. He deserves it. Well, you got anybody? Uh, my wife for putting up with me. Hmm. Hmm. That should be a shout out every day. It yeah. should be. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Ryan? I'm going with the Shadow Park football team. Oh, yeah. For beating the crap out of Mount Spokane. Right. That was awesome. That was awesome. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will see you maybe next week. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how maybe. it goes. We're still kind of busy. We do have a little bit of a programming change coming up. We're kind of going to focus on some interviews throughout the winter. Should be fun. Yeah. All right. See you next week, everybody. Yep, have a good one. Ciao, ciao. We just barely got that in. <laughs> Play the whole song all of a sudden.